Hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Finally I've got some time again to record and last episode we finished the training with Bernard. So in this episode now we have a new quest. We need to go to the bailiff of this town here of Ratai. So here we have him behind those beautiful houses there. Rather simple buildings but they are colorful. Gotta say that. And... Oh, yeah, let's wash ourselves as well while we are at it. And while we enjoy the scenery here, I think we do have the bailiff somewhere up here. So there's also a tailor. That's also something that's pretty cool. So, you know, in, in the cities, you have to go everywhere to discover something. So we now know there's a tailor. And we now know there's a baker who would um, sell us some food if we need to. And here we should have the bailey of this town. And let's see what he's got to say. I think that's the one. Beautiful, by the way. I love it. And I love how everything kind of is prohibited. So I should not steal anything. But if I do, and if it's worth the risk, I might get a juicy reward out of it. So that's something I really like. And there's the bailiff. Good day to you. And hello. Oh, we could turn his service who can teach me to read. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe, Anusius. He could teach you. Thank you. So that's a new quest here, Mightier Than the Sword. Then we can finally read the books and stuff like that. And in the books, there are skills that are waiting for us that we can improve, like sword fighting, like stealing. Of course, we want to teach or we learn stealing. And is something going on here? That's the quest. Is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Okay. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have, and I have the bruises to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Okay. Oh, and we got some 70 groschens as well. And there is a quest here, but at the moment my reputation here is not high enough. So I cannot do anything there. And yeah, we do have now a quest to purchase us some equipment or join Nightingale on patrol um, and the money for the equipment. So let's go to the weaponsmith that we also have there to get probably a good weapon because when I look at my weapons here right now we only still have the short sword shard here and i think the damage is 43 so that's probably not that much or perhaps it is much i don't know so keeping the piece the new quest that we have and over here pick up your kit in the lower room of the armory oh that's also another quest oh okay that's over here so this is something and here we have the weaponsmith. I really just want to see what he's got to sell us. Or armor smith. God be with you. There's training. Repairs. Can you show me how to repair armor and weapons better? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right. But it'll cost you. Of course. Oh, it costs quite a lot. As far as I can see. Nope. Maybe another time. We cannot do that. Let's have a look at the trading. Perhaps we can sell something of value. I mean, after all, we stole a few things here. Nope. We really can't sell much here. What I can see. This one. This one. And those are my dirty clothes that I started with. So I want to keep them, kind of. And yeah, that's it. We get around 19 groschens out of it. Fine with that. And let's see what we can purchase with that. Weapons. There's some shields here. Oh my goodness, that's expensive. Look at that. I've got 94 groschens and a shield costs 800. One of them. 
Yeah, certainly 1,000 here for, oh, okay. So I do have a wrong perception of how much money I have because right now I really have nothing what I can see. So Ratai, very well. Let's get over to the other side of the city. Is that right? Yes, we need to get over there. All right, and I think we discovered the cobbler and I think it is here, right? Over there somewhere. It's not him. It's in this build note, certainly not in that shed. But rather in here. Yes. I was told to pick up a kit here. Oh, and hey. speech improvement. Henry. And in fealty to Sir Razak Cobbler. Hmm, yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. All right. There we have the equipment. There's something to lockpick, but I guess we would have to kill him first. Oh, there are too many guards here right now, but I love how tempting it is. You know, there is something in there, something precious probably that we can't get at the moment. So let's see. Now we need to go over here to the church, join Nightingale on patrol between 11 and 19 o'clock. And I think if memory serves me right, we are at the right time. Yeah, it's shortly before 11 and we do need to equip those things that we just got. That's the one, right? Gambeson Light. We do have a club that should be here. There it is, Mace Bludgeon. We should equip that. And I don't think that we should have had the sword there. I don't know. And we also got this one here, a helmet. But yeah, in this case, we already have the same hel hel uh, helmet here. So nothing there. So we do have, have the um, armor that we need. Let's run over there to the church on this fine day. There's also a quest in here. There are lots of quests here, by the way. So when we look around here, there is a quest. Um, there is a quest tipster. So that is not a quest per se. I think that is only telling me where I might find a quest. And up here we have the blacksmith, the grindstone, and the archery for training if we want to. And what's that? Oh, there's a tournament. That's a that's a DLC. Something that we're not doing right now. And of course, we still have other quests here out there. Look at that. So there's a quest giver. There is a quest giver uh, for the DLC, and there is um, the ring that we need to bring to the miller. And I think somewhere over here we should have the guy that teaches us how to read. Beautiful music in the background. There's the butcher and there's the church. And I think, I think we need to go inside or something like that or someone is waiting here for us. Nope, not that beggar. Let's go inside. Oh, that's a beautiful building. I think we will need to wait until, yeah, probably something like 11 or 12 o'clock here. Now it's 11 o'clock. I think that's right. Let's try and see if there's anyone. All right, and there it is, the guy we're waiting for, Nightingale. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. 
All honour to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. All right. Let's start as a guard. Matthews. Follow Nightingale. So we're really starting now at the it beginning of the ladder. He's got a fine sword. Corner, the priest too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there. And our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. Oh, he's going to slowly. That is suspicious. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. I don't want you about me. Is that veneer pile not big enough for you? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. <laughs> I want you to get rid of her. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in a square. She yeah, I think he's right about it. Call yourself a Christian. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armour? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. From the armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? Hmm. That's a difficult decision. We'll both contribute. No, my speech is not that high. We're oh, we're both. both. Christians, aren't we? we should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Fine, have it your way. God bless you, and, and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus, you're as bad as each other. She only started not long ago. All we can see is while there's still a bit of life, she sits down and gets on with her. And she's quite deaf. We lost some money but gained some reputation and some speech level there. I think that's worth it. Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to the Hanush. If the town burgers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age, 
They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Alright, let's continue. Can I? No, I cannot drop these things here or something like that. Take something out of it. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. You certainly got a lot of talk. A lot to talk about here. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Wait, what? This one? Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Uh, stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the Trader's Tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Oh, there's something to eat. Let's eat. I mean, it's not stealing, right? And I'm hungry. And we can wash ourselves. Everything's ready for us. I can't wait here forever. Yeah, come on. Now, where was I? Ah. I absolutely love the architecture. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Like, how the hell is he going here? <laughs> In zigzag. And here we'll find some fine ale, hopefully. Okay, we're not drinking some ale. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, 
Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, yes, eh? Good Let me tell you I something. Like you when the bailiff finds out Moimir's I... slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. All right, suddenly we can run, it seems. And there's the... In and there he is, the drunkard. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Huh? Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. I. Uh, not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. <laughs> We are allowed to drink, fine. Let's sit down here. That fool got me all worked up. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly, and just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Why not? True thing, so we have to play the dice or something like that. You're a brave soul taking me on. I'm not used to losing. Yeah. Oh, we're busted. This case here. That'll do me. Let's see what we have. Bunch of fours. How can I do that? Hold, die, pass. Oh, with E, I see. Right, so how the game works is not quite clear to me. I mean, I've read it up now and yeah, we really just have to score with the dice there and always take them apart. So it's my turn now. I've got a thousand points so far. So let's see, we do have no pairs. Oh yes, we do have two pairs here, so they're three. So I can um, take them aside and do something with them. I've got two five, so I could also, you know, score and roll again. So let's take the five away here. So that's a hundred point and then I can roll again. So the goal is you always have to have a one or a five Otherwise, you lose all the points. So it's always a risk, you know, because it's only five or four dices now that we have here. And in this case here, I'm putting this one away and risking it to roll again with three only. 
if there's no one or five now i would lose all the points but lucky us there is one and we can take this one away and then actually i'm happy with it so that's 250 points that we got out of this one here so we do have a, a 1250 now oh and he's got a really good one so he's uh, winning there he's one to five so that's really i don't know <laughs> he's a cheater Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the Rat House. Ring three times, then go to the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. All right, get the torch. We have it already. Do we have it? Nope, we don't have it at the moment. So we need to equip the torch there first. And there it is. Right, ring the bell. So at the Rat House. Down here, ring the bell. Coming up on the rat house, there is the bell, I think. Let's ring it. And close to Trader's Tavern. <laughs> of course, it's on the other side of the town again, so this is a bit annoying. I, I'm certainly not a good guard, walking around and patrolling all the time. So we now need to go all the way back up there again to the tavern. Oh, and we know him, Sir Hanush. On the streets at night. What's he up to? Lots of people are walking around here. Especially lots of guards. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig. <laughs> Did you find him? <laughs> We tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save the bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Rate. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> No! Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! <laughs> you can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. All right, let's have a fist fight. Kurva fix! Oh, right in my face. That'll show him. That'll show him. That'll show him. That'll show him. 
Did we actually hit him? Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Hell? Answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sounds like a good punishment to Sir, me. I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not I anymore. Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. All right, so I think hunting with Sir Hans Capone is our next quest that we have then. When I look up here, meet Lord Capone at dawn in the courtyard of the upper castle. And that's exactly what we're going to do.